Tank. Tank is a guy, man. Tank's a guy I want to see Shakur fight next. Um, however, I know I already know what it's gonna be. You know, um, Shakur definitely knows that he's gonna have to take short money if that was gonna happen. Um, they're gonna use that against him. I get it. They're gonna say, "Well, look, you don't sell out no arena. You don't bring anything to the table. So why?" Um, they're gonna say, "You're gonna run all night. You're gonna this." So you know, they're gonna they're gonna say everything they possibly can not to, for the fight not to happen. But um, I think the fight should happen. I still want to see, you know, who's on the who can win that battle. Um, again, my money's on Shakur. I think the defense wins championships. I Timothy Bradley, aka the worst commentator in the history of boxing. Did y'all hear his commentary when he was um, talking about the fight? His commentary was, a uh, oh, it's always bad to me, but it was, oh, let me think. He did tell a little bit of truth about how people were going to react, if I remember correctly, about how people were going to react to the performance. But he was also, they was also talking like Shakur was dominating the fight or something. But if you got some highlights, them highlights ain't gonna consist of nothing but a couple jabs. The man probably landed three, four jabs, maybe the whole fight, man. Get out of here with that crap. Shakur won't dominate nothing. He won't do anything. And then they um interview him and ask him about Shakur. They talking about some Shakur's hard to hit. They was asking him about uh him fighting Tank. Shakur Stevenson fighting Tank. He thinks that Shakur Stevenson can beat Tank. Even after that performance. He thinks he can beat Tank. Man, that man is nowhere near ready for Tank. He's scared to engage. He's scared to get hit. As you can see, and you're talking about some, he's hard to hit. You can't hit him. How you going to land that punch if you can't hit him? Bruh, to be honest, um, he can't beat Tank. I don't know if Tank can beat him. Because if Tank get in the ring with him, he ain't going to do number run. If Tank hit that boy, he going to sleep. <laughs> He go, how you got good defense? Just running, man. That joke is crazy. I, I don't understand. Good defense is running, running, running from a guy is good defense. Man, please. What is this boxing game come to, man? Talking about some he can beat some tank. Man, please. He couldn't even beat Edwin De Los Santos. Edwin De Los Santos, Edwin De Los Santos hits hard. Um, Tank Davis hits harder than that. If he was scared to engage with Edwin De Los Santos, do you think he's going to engage with Tank Davis? Heck no. Like I said in my other video, Ryan Garcia got more heart than Shakur Stevenson. He went out there and got beat. You know he quit. At least he fought the man. You you won't even fight. You won't even engage, man. You're not even ready. You're not ready for no dang on Tank. And Timothy Bradley, man, he's just delusional. He is dang on delusional, man. I don't know what is wrong with that man or what's going on in his head, but you know dang on well that performance that Shakur put up, yes, it was horrible. It was hard to watch. I mean, celebrities all over the board was, <laughs> and other boxers was talking about this fight and how boring it was. Yeah, it was. You seen that performance, you think that that's something that, uh, that's not the first time that that happened. That is Shakur, that is his style. He's not going to engage with nobody that can hurt him because he's scared he's going to get that chin touch and he's going to sleep. Just like when he fought Nakatia, you criticized him about that. And, you know, of course, of course, Stevenson ain't like it. Maybe you felt some type of way, so you was going a little easy on him this time because of how you made him feel the last time because he was all sad in his feelings. But, man, sometimes these bosses got to hit this, man. That's not how you do things. You claiming you... You claiming you pound for pound number one you can beat all these people you're the greatest boxer you walking around acting tough but you don't fight man you don't fight you gotta at least fight put up a fighting effort that's how you get the respect of the fans but you was talking about some um i'm not worried about y'all or what y'all think i'm gonna go out there and do what i want to do and look what you did now look now you sitting up there apologizing talking about oh i'm sorry man no don't apologize to us we don't want no apology we want you to fight but anyway, man, that's all I got for you, man. I'm up out of here.